What's going on, Colts Nation? Welcome back to another episode of the Bring the Juice Colts podcast. NFL regular season starts today, guys. Feels like Christmas all over again. Really excited to be here with you guys. Just wanted to give a quick few updates on Thursday's practice and everything else going on before the game today. And then obviously in preparance for our game Sunday, make sure you all check out the preview video, which comes out tomorrow. Make sure you all are checking that out. So a couple things real quick, uh, some funny stories and some stuff that's also a more serious note. Uh, Darius Leonard was asked, uh, was talking today and says that uh, Ursay was texting him earlier in the week at like 2 a.m. in the morning, letting him know that, hey, how important week one is to him and how badly he wants to win. So, I mean, let's see. Let's see if uh, Darius Leonard and the crew can pull it off. You know, I mean, it's kind of an important game and. You know, the Colts haven't had a lot of success in week one over the last few years. So we'll see if that changes. So a couple other things. Uh, Leonard was talking about his goals for this season. Of course, a little crazy, but that's what we love about him. 200 tackles, 10 plus sacks, 10 plus interceptions. Says he wants a world championship and Super Bowl MVP honors. So, you know, when the maniac puts his mind to something, we know he goes out and does it. So we'll see what he does. But anyway, so talking a little more about some of these injuries and on top of some of the news regarding some of the other positions, we we're talking about the defensive end position. And I'm sure everyone was kind of wondering why was al Muhammad being the starter, named the starter for the defensive line this week? Basically, Brian Baker was asked about that today and stated that the reason al Muhammad is ahead of Taekwon and Kamoko simply due to the reps at in the training camp, okay? It's basically the reps. So Brian Baker states that he claims he feels he has three starters, and Quiddy, that's Quiddy Pay, al Muhammad, and Taekwon Lewis, okay? Kamoko Ture and Ben Banigou will get looks and passing situations from what he showed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up the injury report as of today, Thursday injury report. So Quentin Nelson and Paris Campbell both practiced today. Okay, that's the big news. Paris Campbell and Quentin Nelson both on the field today. Paris Campbell was a full participant, so you don't have to worry about it. Again, he's going to be ready for Sunday. They might just limit him again on Friday to be careful. Quentin Nelson, again, He's not that he was that limited participant today. So again, back seems to be doing okay enough to do a lo- little bit of light work. We are all okay. So the other issue that we had was Xavier Rhodes. So Xavier Rhodes was at practice today, but did not practice. Uh, was basically an observant today. Uh, not exactly sure what that means for his status going into this game. Still hoping he can play, but I mean, we're going to have to basically see if he practices on Friday. If he doesn't practice on Friday, that might be an indicator. But we're going to have to just wait and see. But uh, Fisher, again, was a limited participant. Pinter was a limited participant. Uh, Kamoko Ture did not practice today. So I would assume Ben Banigou or Taekwon Lewis are going to get the majority of reps. And Jack Doyle did not practice today, but it was basically a rest day for him. So that's basically going to do it for this one, guys. That's pretty much the majority of the updates that we have for the Colts today. Make sure you all go check this out. Make sure you all check out our preview video when it comes out Friday. We're going to be breaking it down all of the whole game. We're going to be breaking down from a Seahawks perspective and everything else. Make sure you all check that out. Thank you guys so much again for tuning in. And as always, go Colts. Yeah.